Hey guys, it's February, but I'm going to go over this January box from Palletful Pack, so let's get started. First up is this 4x4 inch stretched cotton canvas by Art Alternatives. Next, we have this Daler Rowney System 3 fluid acrylic paint set. There's a total of six tubes, Mars Black, Ultramarine Blue, Cadmium Red Hue, Daylo Green, Lemon Yellow, and Titanium White. Here is our palette full pack sticker. A Robert Simmons White Sable Round Brush. And another brush included in this box is the Princeton Artist Mixed Media Angular Paint Brush. Our next surface is an Art Alternatives Canvas Panel. I think it's 5 by 7 inches. So that was everything in the box, and now I'm going to swatch out my fluid acrylic paints in this Artist Loft Canvas Pad that I got from Michaels. It comes pre-gessoed, and you can see up close that the canvas has texture. The fluid paint comes in these long eyedropper-looking bottles, which makes it easier to control the right amount of paint you put onto your palette. You don't have to worry about too much of the paint spilling out, but make sure you shake the paints before you start using them. Some of the paints tended to have some ingredients settled in the bottom of the bottle, especially the Mars Black and Titanium White. The colors provided in the set are the primary colors plus the Thalo Green, Mars Black, and Titanium White. What you see me doing now is mixing the colors together so you can see the variety of colors you can make with just these six colors provided. The back of the package states that these fluid acrylics are ideal for pouring, dripping, and acrylic art techniques. I've done paint pouring in the past and it was fun, but I doubt I would have fun with these Daler Rowney fluid acrylics. I'm going to be straightforward and tell you guys that I did not enjoy using these paints at all. They're just too thin for me and don't provide enough coverage for the things I want to use them for. As I said, I've dabbled in paint pouring in the past and I would not use these paints. I can find better fluid acrylic paint at the dollar store. And I also disliked the titanium white the most. It was very watery and chalky looking. Not that opaque at all. So these Daler Rowney fluid acrylic paints are just not for me. Other people may like using them. I actually went on Amazon's website to look up reviews on this paint set, but I couldn't find it at all. However, Daler Rowney does have medium body acrylic paints that got really good reviews. But anyway, I got really frustrated with these paints and I decided to pull out my old Master's Touch acrylic paints from Hobby Lobby. And while I was painting, I realized that I haven't used acrylic paint in a long time. I used to paint with it a lot until I signed up with the Evolve oil painting program. So for the past year, I've mainly been painting with oil. But make sure you check out my Evolve playlist so you can see my oil painting journey. But yeah, I, I think I'm rusty with my acrylic paint skills now. Um, while I was painting this, I wanted the paints to blend like oils. And I was working quickly to make sure they did blend before they dried. And I like Master's Touch acrylic paints, but... I think Hobby Lobby, they have these new heavy body acrylic paints out now, and I want to experiment with that, so I'll keep you guys posted in the future. As for what I'm painting, I'm doing a portrait of one of my cats. This is my first time that I can remember of myself drawing and painting a cat. And the fur made me nervous because, you know, is going in different directions and I wanted to make sure that you know I was painting the fur in the right direction and another thing I've been doing lately is working on my drawing skills those are always a work in progress but I particularly want to improve my animal drawing skills a couple of years ago I took an animal drawing class with Sori Kim which was an awesome class 
But yeah, this year I'm going to work on my drawing skills, improve my animal drawing skills and stuff like that. And I think this little painting of my cat looks okay for my first time. You know, we might as well call this a study instead of a final painting. But yeah, her eyes are a little too close together, but you know, this won't be my last cat painting and I'll make improvements along the way. But, you guys, what did you think of this January palette full packs box? I thought it was okay. I thought it was alright. But tell me in the comments, what's your favorite brand of acrylic paint? And what art skills are you trying to improve this year? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!